Toronto's downtown transit hub is about to get extra crowded as more workers return to the office and students go back to school. With September come those all too familiar questions. Why are we lowering, lowering restrictions? That doesn't make sense. I'm not really sure what the solution is because like life does need to go on. For the third straight year, Ontarians are being warned as we start spending more time indoors this fall, we can expect to see another increase in COVID-19 transmission. This time, though, predicting case counts will be harder, official guidance looser. The advice from Ontario's top doctor? Make sure COVID and flu shots are up to date. Wear a mask when appropriate. And here's the big change. Anyone catching COVID is no longer required to isolate. You should not go back uh, to the school or work environment uh, until your symptoms uh, are resolving and improving for at least 24 hours. That means office workers may return the day after they start feeling better. That's too soon, say some doctors. In my view, this will enhance the spread of COVID-19 in school and work environments. Others point to the bigger picture. You have a lot of people missing work and that obviously impacts society, etc. So I think there's a bit of a balancing act here. With infections set to rise again, hospital capacity remains a concern. I declare the motion carried. As a solution, the province approved a plan that could transfer some hospital patients to nursing homes they didn't choose, trading one crisis for another, say critics. They've named these people now as expendable human beings in the race for ever scarcer resources in our healthcare system. For now, commuters wait for their train home dreading COVID's wild ride in the fall. We all have a level of accountability of keeping each other safe. Thomas, some in Ontario concerned about dropping isolation requirements for the infected. What's happened elsewhere? Saskatchewan dropped isolation requirements back in February. New Brunswick and Nova Scotia have done so as well. Uh, here in Ontario, though, although the top doctor is loosening the rules, he's saying some could come back. Like he's pointing, for instance, to mandatory masking for the general public. Remember that? Dr. Kieran Moore says it could come back. He could recommend it if COVID and other respiratory viruses again put a strain on the hospital system, David. All right, thanks very much. CBC's Thomas Dagg in Toronto.